Hello and welcome to another update video about gold. I think um, gold could show us a bit of a rally shortly, maybe only after another leg down in the support area. But it, it looks as if we have a good setup um, that could take us higher in this C wave of wave three. What could be a potential target of that rally? Well, um, it is a bit speculative at this stage because I haven't got a confirmed low in place. Yeah. Haven't got that, but let's assume maybe we get another pullback to 1949. Then the first target I would aim for is 2,282, then 2,359, 2,406, just to give you an idea. First of all, however, we need to form a low and I still focus on an overall bullish scenario for gold. We have off this wave two low, the potential wave two low in October, an A wave to the upside, this here could now be a B wave and then we get the C wave. If you're wondering why is that in the third wave, it just has to do with the situation that we are likely off this wave follow that was um, formed in October last year, that we are in an ending diagonal. Basically, we had an ABC structure in wave one. This is a wave two with the low that was made in October. And now we're forming an ABC structure in wave three. Then we should get ABC in four and ABC in five. That's what we're watching for um, primarily. You can count this move up as an impulse as well. However, it seems to me that it counts better as a diagonal. So um, count basically unchanged since the last video. We've seen that B wave pullback though that we wanted to see. Um, so the question is obviously, I mean, the thesis is that the A wave topped here on the 4th of December, around $2,155. We likely see now this B wave pullback and I count an A wave already complete. And we saw a bit of a rally, which I see only as the A wave of the B wave. We haven't even reached the main resistance area. Okay, it doesn't need to, it's just, it's not a target, it's just resistance, um, but it would still be preferable to go maybe a little bit higher in a clearer three wave structure of wave B. Yeah. So basically one more high could happen in this C wave into the region between 2070, so $2,070 and $2,116. I mean, that is very, you know, we're dealing with a very small wave count here at the moment, very small degree. So, you know, predictive qualities of edit wave are limited on these smaller timeframes, but it would still look best, you know, with a higher B wave, a little bit higher, and then one more low in the C wave, and then it could go. So that means whatever happens, I mean, this is surely, I mean, yeah, the B wave could be in already, right? That's one possibility. It's even possible that this smaller degree B wave topped already. Either way, from this area, as long as we're holding 1894, we can make it very simple. I would be looking for another C wave rally to the upside. And um, only below 1894, I will really have to change the assumption here of the chart and would have to assume that possibly in October, um, no wave to bottom. Then in this scenario, I would have to assume that we're going to get a reset of wave two, potentially a little lower. And then, uh, 1,797 and $1,719, they are support. Um, so yeah, at the moment, just simply watching potentially for another C wave to the upside in this B wave, there are quite a lot of, um, possibilities that can unfold. It shouldn't be a surprise. I mean, we're dealing with three B waves uh, here in this area. There are three B waves involved. First of all, the main move down is a B wave. Um, the current move up is a B wave. And within that, we also have a small B wave. If you know Elliott wave, then you know that B waves are the most difficult waves to predict. So while we have very clearly defined levels, um, and we can watch them, there are uh, you know lots of different possibilities how this can unfold but I'm still looking at a positive outcome, a bullish outcome from this. So just a quick update. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.